Oh, there you are, YouTube. So I really love shows about stand-up comedy, movies about stand-up comedy, and hacks after season one. I mean, during season one. Probably that first episode became one of my favorite shows about stand-up comedy. How many shows are there about stand-up comedy? But anyway, uh, this one's very good. I've already watched and reviewed season one, but we just started season two. There are four episodes available right now, and I've watched those four, and we sort of pick up where we left off uh, with Deborah and Ava. And this season is kind of fun because we are seeing the two of them on the road. It's sort of like a planes, trains, and automobiles sort of thing, except for it's automobiles buses and cruise ships. So we're seeing them in a different location. We're outside of Vegas now. Things aren't just on the strip in in these large auditoriums where where she's doing her stand up. Things are and and in her in her home, um in Jean Smart's home. Deborah's home, sorry. Jean Smart plays Deborah. Jean Smart is great. So great. Uh, I think, for me, I first saw her in, um, I guess it would be probably Homeward Bound, you know? Uh, but she's fantastic. Been winning awards for season one. But yeah, we're not seeing her home much either. All of this is happening on the road, and it's just been delightful. Lori Metcalf pops into this season, famous for, I guess most recently, maybe like Lady Bird. Uh, I know her from... Uh, Roseanne, now called The Connors. Is she, is she on The Connors? I think she's on The Connors. I haven't been watching The Connors, but um, yeah, I grew up watching her on Roseanne. And she plays the bus driver, or I guess sort of like the tour manager who's on the bus sort of thing, making sure they are on a schedule, a tight schedule, and trying to keep that itinerary strong. But certain things keep shifting that schedule, and she's very... Um, I don't know, forward about how things need to stay on schedule. She is absolutely hilarious in this, uh, playing, I don't know, somebody who just adheres to an agenda when, when, when you're on a trip and just has no, no need for pleasantries really, but also, uh, does some like, like revealing commentary about themselves. I don't know, it's kind of funny. But yeah, Laurie Metcalf, always great, always hilarious. And I don't know how much longer we're going to see her uh, based on some things that have happened, but I hope if Laurie's no longer on the show beyond this episode, maybe she'll pop up again later. I think that would be great because this character that she has created is very funny. And I like seeing her interact with Ava and Deborah. It's it's pretty great. Also, we got some cameos. Well, a cameo. Maybe there was more than one, but I just finished the fourth episode and we got a Margaret Cho cameo. So that's always cool when uh, comedian, comedians that you know are out there working when they are popping up in shows like this. I always love that. That's a lot of fun uh, seeing them because it's like, oh, yeah, real comedian, real comedian, real stand-up, real stand-up. That, that's awesome. So that was cool to see as well. But as with any buddy comedy or road comedy, the best part is the interactions. The interactions between the two characters. So when it comes to Ava and Deborah, just watching them interact with one another is the best part. They just are, you know, button heads on certain things. Um, actually, there's like e even illegal and and a a a there is a legal battle between the two of them, which makes it extra interesting because they are still side by side working together even when this legal stuff is happening. I'm curious to see where that's going to go. I'm thinking maybe it will go forward, won't be stopped. I don't know. I think it could be stopped, but that might seem a little predictable to me. So I think what might happen is it will go through, but then once it's complete, then good things will happen. So I don't know. But overall, I love the show. I love shows about stand-up comedy. I, I love stand-up comedy too, but shows about stand-up comedy are also very appealing to me. So yeah, I, again, I'm very excited. I'm glad that the season has started and I'm able to carve out some time to watch it. 
Hacks season two so far is very good. So be sure to check it out if you haven't. I'm I'm watching it on HBO Plus, the, the first HBO Plus, no. No. It's not a plus, it's an HBO Max. HBO Max, I'm watching it on HBO Max and season uh, one is on there, yes. And uh, season two, I think we got four episodes available right now. Maybe by the time you're watching this, it'll all be out, but I think it's funny. Gene Smart's great, so good. And perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout. Mm -hmm.